Hi everyone, what's up? And welcome to the Kybershawn YouTube channel. Um, back at making some YouTube videos. I'm just looking to show you a project that I made called uh, Stream Update. Um, it's it's quite simple. It updates your title and your game name whenever you switch games. So, to put a long story short, um, there's a little program running in the background. Uh, this little program. Uh, this API key would change, so don't worry. Um, and this will just fire off your uh, process list to our server. We process it, and then we change your stream title and game depending on what uh, you have in running in your background. So if you have Fortnite.exe running in the, in the in the background, it will change it to that. So I'm going to run through some tests just to show you how all of this works, and a little tutorial into it because I believe. It is, it is easy to do once you've seen how it's done, right? So, let's get into it. So first of all, it's called Stream Updater. So go to streamupdater.com and log in with Twitch. So, once you're logged into the software, this is what you'll see. Um, this is this is the, uh, the dashboard, so to speak. And this is where your API key will be located. I recommend you keep this very secret because someone could theoretically get your API key and then update your Twitch with invalid uh, information. Of course, they won't update it with the with the games that you have, but it's just a forewarning. Always keep this uh, hidden. You can reset it, of course, if you if you leak it by accident. It's uh, no problem at all. So take your, your API key. In fact, first download the app. There's a little demo button up here, get 32 bit or get 64 bit. Then you go through the whole installation process. I've already done mine, so I don't have to bother with that. Uh, next, take your API key, open up the software, and just paste it in there. And it is as simple as that. You can just click minimize, and that is that. So in the app, when you put in your API key, uh, like that, it will turn green. That's how you know your API key is uh, correct. So once that's done, you should now have your process list update if we refresh so as you can see now our process list has uh, updated anyway let's get on to the uh, meat and potatoes of the, of the software shall we so we have a games list this is a global games list that um is responsible for all the all the changes that happen so ideal in an, an ideal world right you have the overwatch game and you have the overwatch.exe it is as simple as that but then you have games like Fortnite, and then you have the Fortnite launcher, and that's the only way you can detect the game. So we'll have to build in this check to actually get the EXE. This game name, this is what we sent to Twitch. So if you go to add game, I can show you an, an example, right? So we can put in NVIDIA game, right? And that would be NV, what was it? NV, NV container, right? And that is all it would be. And then on Twitch, your game would become never day game. It's as simple as that. And that's how you update your games automatically. So all all this does is it searches for that exe or it searches for this this name here. So if it can't find this exe, but it can find, for example, the NV container, never day container. If it finds this, then it will also change it. So you you have you have two ways of of changing it there. Next, so to get it all working, right, you have your game added in here, that's fine and dandy, but now you have some automation, right? Uh, so what you do, go, go back to your dashboard, activity list, add activity. And here is where the, the magic happens. So you can set a title. We're going to call ours uh, Hearts of Iron Stream uh, UK Playthrough. Our, our description. We're going to leave this blank, or you can just fill it in. You can select a day. So the, the a day is when this title in game is active. So let's say it's Tuesday, right? And it's a currently Friday. This won't activate because it isn't Tuesday. Let's say it's Friday, this will start going out. So you can have a Hearts of Iron Stream, like Friday viewer run. Right? So it, you, you can schedule these according to your own schedule. And that's one of the greatest bits of functionality in it. So if you want a game, you just you, you can just search here for it. Uh, in terms of ours, it's just Hearts of Iron. So 
There is Hearts of Iron, Hearts of Iron 4. Now, you do have the option here to update only the game. So let's say you like your stream title just being always uh, Road to Affiliate, right? And you don't want to keep on changing your stream titles. You can leave this blank and just click Update Only Game and then submit it. That's absolutely fine. And then all we all we will do is just update that game. And if you want, you can edit it and then go back in and uh, put that back in, untick that and submit it. And then it will start updating your title as well. So let's say you don't want this to run. You don't want this Hearts of Iron game one to run because you're playing World of Warcraft in the background. What you can do is you can add another activity. So the, these can stack as well. So World of Warcraft raid runs plus Hearts of Iron in the background. Right? That could be one of your titles. And then we just search for World of Warcraft. And then there we go. Now we're updating World of Warcraft. And what we can do here is we can pause this one. So there's a little box here. Click that and it will start pausing this one. This one won't activate, but this one will. If it finds us uh, World, World of Warcraft, of course. You can delete it as well. Um, and yeah, this is this is the activity list. It tells you what happens. If World of Warcraft is found, updates your title to this. Updates your game to this. Day of action is all days. Enabled, true, false. It's very simple. So, let's say you, you have like... 19 of these activities right you have them all stacked you have them all laid out perfect but then you're doing like a charity run right and then you're going to be playing all of these games you don't, you don't want to go through these and edit every single individual one to to change your title to what it should be right well we've thought ahead in a sort of regard and I, heard, I did hear some feedback we've added a game only mode a global game only mode so if you activate this it will only change your game name it won't change your stream title, um, which is something I find to be pretty damn useful. I'll just deactivate that again. Next, we have our chatbot. So, the chatbot is quite simple. Um, it's it's not going to do some extremely complex things, but it can do most of them. So, I am taking suggestions on what sort of things people wanted to do. At the moment, I'm just having output certain commands. So, we do have a commands list that I can show you. Uh, let's see if we just go to commands. Uh, add a command. Now you see, it's it's quite simple how it works. In la, um, you can activate it on certain things. So if if it detects uh, follow, it will output the message. Uh, please follow the stream. Um, we do have a variables page here as well if people want to look at it. This isn't up to date. I'll make sure to update this once this video goes out. Um, just so you can see what's happening. We, have, we, we do have a Spotify integration as well. So you, you can see what Spotify songs people are listening to. Stops you having to display the actual, you know, chat window. We actually integrate with the API and you can output that in chat. The, the full commands list, how long you've been streaming for. Um, there's a few in here, um, who was the last follower, how long you've been following for, that sort of thing. Um, the timeout of course, so how long you want to wait for, for the command is to run again. So I think by default we usually recommend setting this to 60 or 600, I can't really remember. And of course if you want this to post automatically, so if it keeps on posting on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a timer, you can have this done as well. And of course if you want to give it access to uh, certain groups. I can submit this. There we go. We now have the follow command. It can be run every 60 seconds. It can be done by everyone. And this is when we added it. Of course, we can edit it and delete it if we want to. We do have a loyalty system as well. Uh, this is just a bog standard loyalty system. You can you can see all the users that have currently chat in your system or how many points they have. You can configure a lot of settings. Um, what your points are called, how many points you get for being idle, um, the time between idle as well, message received, so if someone sends in a message, how many points they get, uh, the time between that, so you don't have anyone spamming for points, how many points someone gets for donating, subscribing, following, etc. And then the viewbot page. 
so this is, this uh, statistic system isn't completely done yet. Uh, everything's really is on a on a case by case basis. So you can see how many commands have been running in the, in, in the past. So this isn't exclusive to your chat. Um, this part will be over here. Um, again, working on that sort of section. You can also see the last run commands. This is just a global commands run here. So we use it quite a bit, and uh, kind of shown in the in the pro frisk streams. And we test it at the bot and push it to its limits. It seems to handle pretty well. We have a button up here, add bot to channel, and it'll basically fire it into your uh, Twitch channel. We just refresh Twitch just now. Should be logged in. So, if we go to our dashboard, we will see that the game slash category and title are currently not filled in. Right? They are not filled in. I'm going to do all, all of this live just so you can see how it uh, works. We currently have an activity set up for Hearts of Iron 4 to change the stream to Hearts of Iron Stream UK playthrough. And I'm going to activate this. And then what we're going to do is going to load up Steam. Go to Hearts of Iron and play, play this Hearts of Iron game. And what it should do is it will change my stream to um, the Hearts of Iron 4 stuff that we set earlier. To show what I mean, um, let's see. Go back to stream up there. So, Hearts of Iron 4 is now running in the background. Uh, we'll just keep waiting. So, if we refresh, we should see an update soon. Also, refresh on Twitch just to make sure. Just to show you that I'm not changing this on, on the FY. There you go. It's changed. Hearts of Iron stream UK playthrough game slash category Hearts of Iron 4. So now that that's updated, you'll be like, right, fantastic. My stream titles, my stream games are all updating automatically. That sounds fantastic. But I want a chatbot. I have that covered. So if you go into the view bot page and then click add bot to the to channel, it'll add to the channel. You should see it is another channel now. And what we can do is we can give it mod now it's got moderator then we can do exclamation mark follow just follow the stream and you can work your stream around those right um any sort of recommendations for sort of di dynamic fields and stuff like that is more than welcome to be sent to my twitter at kyber oh um in regards to the um profile section so we do have a profile section on the website you can you can do quite a lot in this, so you can edit your URL profile as it stands. You can so once donations and stuff like that are set up, you can put in your PayPal email here. Um, stream update and information. So the email that you've signed up with, an about page, your Twitter, website, Facebook, and Discord instant invite link. So once you've filled out all these details, you should have a nice little profile section. So if we go here to our profile, stream update or test. You'll see how many stream titles we're currently automating, uh, the bot commands that we currently got set up, and this is a placeholder number, don't worry about this. It, if you refresh the page, it changes all, all the time, just being transparent again. This is a one-man project, so a lot of this thing, all of all these things are in development. Uh, social media, so as you've seen before, once you put in your social media links, those will eventually come in there. Your about page, we support markdown here, so you can advertise yourself as much as you want. Uh, a donate button. You on Twitch takes it directly to your Twitch page. Uh, a song request page, so if you have any YouTube links you want to send to your favourite streamers, they can see them all here and then run, run run through them all. And the most recent game, so as you can see, Hearts of Iron 4 is in here. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I I appreciate any feedback. I've, I've been working on this bit of kit for quite a bit of time. I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually the developer behind Twitch Automator. And that got quite a bit of traction a while ago um i noticed it from the google analytics at least a lot of people were actually using that software to automate their twitch uh titles and games a while ago but that went through a lot of stages of stages of um grief and, and terribleness it started using discord to detect games and it started using its own process list for a user editable config file now we've went online with it it's much simpler we'll handle all of the workload while you guys just stream you know it's a it's an online service uh, stream updater is totally free. We only go by Patreon and stuff like that. Um, the most that I ever really ask for on Patreon is that the server costs are covered. Um, but yeah, 
any any feedback, any comments, any issues, feel free to, to contact me if you've if you want um if you want again another video on this, let me know and I'll cook one up. But yeah, that's it for a stream update. Um I'll let you guys get back to it and I'll let you guys use these software. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.